Mr. Johnny Sanchez. All right. Good to be here, man. Good to be here. San Bernardino. San Bernardino, give it up. Give it up. That's right. Home of the crystal meth. All right. You find the druggies in that one right there. Man. Look, he's got to run now. The cops are after me, man. I got my meth right here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I think I scared him. He thinks I'm Middle Eastern. Yeah, I get that, man. I get mistaken for Middle Eastern all the time, right? Was, Mexicans get that, right? This is a Mexican. Look at this Mexican right here. Yeah, it's like a terrorist. You know, like, we know how that is. 9-11 changed my life. I didn't have shit to do with it, man. And Middle Eastern people, man, they're, they're, they can be very outspoken people, you know? Like, they always come at me if I'm at a liquor store by myself, right? I got this aggressive Middle Eastern guy one time. He's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> my friend, my friend, my friend. <laughs> this is crazy shit, no? They're going to freaking kill us here. This is crazy. <laughs> they do that, man. They pause and they grunt and then they look up like the English words are rotating. They're like, <laughs> racial profiling. This is racial profiling, my friend. This is bullshit. This is crazy. How are you, my friend? I go, yeah, I'm cool, bro. I'm Mexican. You know what this guy said? He goes, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, what? They're trying to be Mexican now, right? He tried to pull some half-breed shit on me. He goes, no, I'm half, I'm half, I'm half. It's for real, it's for real, it's for real, it's for real, it's for real. It's for real, it's for real. My father is Persian, my mom is Mexican. My name is Abdul Alejandro. Good salespeople, though, aren't they? Damn. They'll try to say anything. They don't give a shit. You run in to get gas, they try to say you the most obscure shit. Doesn't even make any sense. I was in a hurry one time. I'm like, yeah, can I get 30 on number 12? He's like, uh, you want to buy kite? <laughs> a kite? No, I'm pumping gas right now, bro. Hey, come on, you pump gas, you fly kite. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Come on, let's go, bike guy, flight guy, let's go. You ever see those Middle Easterns that try to be real cool and shit, real like very Americanized, you know? Got their shirt open, got the gold chains, wiping their chin with their chest hairs. Come on, my friend, let's get groovy. Come on, let's get funky, let's get groovy, let's go. Screwing up all the rap songs and shit. I'm not saying she's an oil digger. <laughs> but she's not messing with no broke nozzle. Come on, let's go. Fly kite, fly kite. <laughs> if you tell them that you don't want to do that, right? I was like, hey, I don't really feel like pumping gas and flying a kite, right? They make it a cultural thing. They make you think that you're missing out on a cultural thing, right? They tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. In my country, in my country, we pump gas, we fly kite, we don't give a shit. <laughs> in my country, I make love to a woman. I get the string of the kite, I tie in my penis, I go like this. I go like this. I make love, I fly kite, I don't give a shit. I'm like, damn. Next thing I know, I'm driving home with a freaking kite out my window. That's a salesman. No, I'm Mexican, but I, you know, I have to admit, I'm third generation Mexican. I'm a little watered down, you know? I'm like Mexican light. Great taste, but less feeling. Here's the thing, but you know what? Here's the, I feel very all-American, right? I was born in this country, my, my parents, my grandparents, so I feel very Americanized sometimes. I feel like some of the white people, you know? I feel like baseball and apple pie, but I have to realize that I look like nachos in a cockfight. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk about each and every culture. Everybody's different. Everybody reacts differently in, in life, you know? You know, everybody's worried. A lot, of, a lot of people are afraid of the big Mexican guys, you know? 
You know the big ones, the shaved heads and shit? Yeah, the couple right, okay. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, no, they're tough. Don't get me, no, they're tough, they're tough. Right there, look at Leah, yeah, that guy. Holy shit, look at that, all right. All right. No, let me finish, let me finish, okay. I know, I know this. Holy shit, I'm gonna get my freaking ass kicked here tonight. <laughs> now listen. Don't get me, no, look, Oscar's tough. He's fucking tough, don't get me wrong. But listen, but listen, here's the, the Big Macs, they're tough, but they're lazy. <laughs> All right? So hold, hold. Hold on. Look, he's not gonna run after you. If you punch him and run, you're safe. Trust me. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Hey, hey. Hey, bro. Hey, the next time you come over here. <laughs> you better not even come over here. <laughs> I'll tell you who to watch out for is the, are the little tiny Mexicans, man. Those are the scary ones. The little ones, they're like an inch above being a midget. <laughs> and they always have one eye shooting off in a different direction and shit. <laughs> They're crazy. And you know what? And here's a creepy, they smile when they want to fight you. How creepy is that shit? <laughs> Who smiles when they want to get in a fight? You ever see them like, hey, you want to go right now? Eh? Let's go right now. I don't give a shit, eh? Let's go right now. I don't give a shit. Eh? Let's go. You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? Let's go right now. I don't give a shit. Eh? <laughs> Shuffling his feet around like Chili Willy. Let's go right now. I don't give a shit. Let's go right now. Shit. Let's go. Now that Mexican's crazy. Because he doesn't give a shit if he gets his ass kicked. He's just there to take a piece of your body, man. He's going to maim you somehow. He'll come back after he gets his ass kicked. His friends will give him a hard time. Hey, what's up, bro? You got a black guy and a fat lip. What happened? I know, but check it out. No. Fucking beat off his earlobe. I don't give a shit. Let's go again right now. I don't give a shit, eh? Let's go right now. I don't give a shit. Because we all react differently. Brothers, man, you ever see a black guy get pissed off like in public? Holy shit. You can sell tickets to that shit. That is a production. I saw this one brother get pissed off in public. He's like, oh no, you did not, motherfucker. You're not talking shit to this brother right here. Woo! No, you're not talking shit to this motherfucker right here. You better talk to that motherfucker right here. You better talk to him. You better send that shit, motherfucker, a letter. You better send that shit FedEx up in here. And you have to calm him down. You're like, hey, hey, brother, relax, relax. Come on, man, we're Chuck E. Cheese. Relax. <laughs> Look, man, the kid didn't know that was your token. All right, relax. Shit, <laughs> better talk to that motherfucker. You better talk to him. <laughs> and yes, I realize I did this for the brother and nobody else. Supposedly there's a myth. Let's demystify that myth, by the way. All right, let them have it. You know the big peepee? -pee? The brothers and the big peepee? -pee? Let them have it. Let them have it. You know why? Because for every positive, there's a negative. All right? All right, black guys got big peepees. But you know what? They got tiny ankles. You ever notice that shit? <laughs> this is how thick their ankles are, right here. Just like that. That's, how they're, that's why they're always wearing high tops. That's why they walk the way they do, man. They're not pimping, they're limping. That's right. That shit hurts. It's too much weight. The booty, the ding dong, like, ah, uh, damn. Yeah. Ain't cows. You never see an old crickety black man. You ever notice that? They're full of energy, full of life. Even if they're standing in line, they're doing something, they're like, skit, scat, scoot that and that. Skit that and do that and skit that and that. <laughs> Nobody else is like that. Why, guys, I got bad news for you, man. After 65, the only thing out of your mouth is, get out of my driveway! <laughs> oh, pissed off and crickety. Latino man, you better not be laughing. You ever see the evolution of a Latino man as he gets older? As he gets older, the stomach gets bigger and the arms get shorter. Have you noticed that shit about us? <laughs> the hell happens? 
We turned into little dinosaurs for some reason. <laughs> in little T-Max. I can't. I can't reach my fuck. It's me hot. And Latino men get that deep belly button, man. It's deep. Everything's in there. Lint, grass, twigs. You see a hummingbird pop his head out. Uh, look at the bird, mira pajaro, mira. Not the old black man, they're cool as shit. Skid, scat, scoot at that. Skid at and do that and skid at that. You ever try to guess their, their age? You're not even close. Like, check you out, man. What are you like? What are you, 48? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the compliment, son, but I'm 92. Damn. That's right. Skit, scat, scoot at that. Skit at and do that and skit at that. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, this day, you know, look, I got married like a year ago, and like everybody, once you get married, everybody talks about kids. How many kids are you gonna have? And I don't even know if I wanna raise kids right now, you know? I don't like the, the, this new generation. Spoiled. And first of all, some of the parents, here's the problem some of the parents don't want their kids to grow up. They want them to stay babies, right? And they keep them in that stroller too long. Have you noticed that? Get your kids out of that stroller. I saw this kid, he's sitting in a stroller, his feet are dragging. <laughs> He had a diaper on and I could see his pubic hairs. I'm like, get that kid out of there. <laughs> Everything's too easy for these kids, man. Too many accessories. I can't, the video games, see the video games? See, see how like real everybody is in the video games and shit? I'm, like, I'm from the 80s. You know what my graphics were? They're, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Too many amenities, man. Everything's just too easy for these kids. They can't play hide and go seek like we play hide and go seek. We, we played hide and go seek, man. They have too much now. These kids nowadays be like, all right, ready or not, here I come. Bobby, where's Timmy at? <laughs> yeah, I see his foot. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Walking around with GPS and everything. When we played, there was always that one kid nobody could ever find, the real crafty kid. This guy would squeeze into an exhaust pipe or something. <laughs> or be up in a bird's nest, you'd think I gotta get him, and then he would play it off. He's all, grrr, grrr. <laughs> and then I get upset, because, you know, I look at some of the toys that got ripped off, you know? The squirt guns, you see the squirt guns they have? This is these, what are these, super soakers? It's a gun, if you haven't seen it, it's a gun with a 50-gallon drum. <laughs> it's attached to a backpack with a generator. <laughs> These kids are causing some damage. Firefighters are pulling over. Hey, kid, give us a hand with a house fire real quick. <laughs> you know what I feel bad? All the pet, I feel bad for the pets on the block. Every dog and cat has had at least three enemas already. <laughs> I'm not getting my kid a super soaker. I want my kid to struggle like some of us did. I'm buying my kid that little red plastic piece of shit. That thing only held a Dixie cup of water, that piece of crap. The trigger would get stuck. You have to push it back manually. And they never shot straight, always off to the side for some reason. You have to turn this way to get your friend over here. And they would all leak, man. Every single one of them leaked. There was more water coming out of the bottom than out of the front, this piece of crap. And now they have the electric bicycle pumps. Electric bicycle pumps. They're electric. They plug them in now. They put their foot pedal. My nephews have, they put their pedal in. It's like 30 seconds, that's it. It's like, what is this shit? We had to screw ours on. We had that little skinny piece of shit. You had to hold it with your kneecaps. <laughs> It took like 2,800 pumps to get it halfway going. <laughs> then you 
had to unscrew it quickly, but we didn't have the finger strength of an adult. You know, you're like, Shh. damn it, it's flat again. <laughs> and this is one other thing that just drives me. It's the pegs, man. The kids get to screw on the pegs, the front and the back of the rim. Right, the kid gets on the back rim. Let's go, man, all right. <laughs> they go for miles, comfortably. Some of us, we didn't have any pegs to stand on. All we had was a quarter inch of that bolt. <laughs> Remember your feet are all curled out, like, ah, oh, damn it. Don't go over the curbs, don't go over the curbs. You couldn't stay on that. Eventually your foot slipped and it went right into the spokes. Your foot sound like a baseball card. Like, <laughs> stop pedaling. <laughs> My foot's stuck. <laughs> Did you hear me say stop pedaling, asshole? <laughs> no, you heard me. I'm Johnny Sanchez. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.